Hello, OG. I'm Chris. I'm Mike. And welcome to our Japanese-inspired lofts at the Escapes. Here in Tagaytay. Let's take a tour, shall we? Okay, so welcome to our outdoor area. And of course, we're starting with the exclusive bonfire area. This is kind of the highlight of the space. Not too many lofts have an exclusive bonfire area. As you can see, you know, we have four chairs here. We also have the built-in wooden type bench. I thought they are tiles, but it looks like wood. You know, we're just playing a little trick on you. And behind me, you can see our pool. Okay, so the pool is only four feet at the deep end. So don't worry if you have kids. It's 2.5 by five meters and four feet at the deep end. As, as you can see, we have a lovely waterfall running in the background there. We really try to embody, you know, the Japanese Kyoto garden type theme. So over here at the Escapes, we actually have two lofts. It's not just the Kyoto loft, but you have the Hara loft on the other side, which also has the same outdoor spaces. You have an exclusive bonfire area and you have a pool as well and a full outdoor kitchen. The only difference is the theme. So the whole lot, it's 1,700. When we started to build it, nung una, 48 square meters lang na property at first. But then my dad said, why not going duplex na lang? Because I was like sending him photos. Then he said, oh maganda to, why not ito na lang pero duplex, then dalawa pang property in one. So that's when we decided to have like two properties or two lofts in one property. Before we go inside, tingnan natin itong area. It, this is a green area. It's basically a garden in between Hara and Kyoto. And here you would see a divider naman, ginamit naming divider yung bamboo since bamboo is really popular in Japan. Hello guys, welcome to the Escapes and this is our first loft. We call it Kyoto Loft, basically inspired by Kyoto Japan. It's peaceful, it's relaxing and it has this serene environment as well. Yeah, I mean it typically embodies, you know, your Zen type, you know, Japanese feeling when you think of like a Japanese garden. That's what we try to capture in this. And part of capturing that is as soon as people enter, all the lights are turned on. We have coffee shop jazz music playing. I know I said coffee shop jazz is not really very Japanese, but it still adds, you know, to that whole calm, peaceful, you know, kind of ambiance that we really try to capture in this loft. And so that's why we do that. And usually this space is where most people spend their time because we have the entertainment center set up here. You know, they're watching Netflix, watching YouTube, playing with the PS4, which is very popular with the kids. Or they even like to just play board games on this center table right here. This is a sofa bed. So you can convert it to a king size bed and it can sleep like at least four. Uh, oh, it's, it sleeps for yeah. people, but you know, Filipinos are so down <laughs> with sharing. Right? I've, I've seen up to six people. Yung father ko is from Tagaytay itself. So uh, he grew up here. So when there was like an opportunity to move back, kasi laki akong lipa, Batangas, then my opportunity to buy like a lot. We were in the States during that time. Then my dad and my mom contacted me and said, hey, this is a good opportunity. If you guys have enough money to invest dun sa land, then why not buy it? So yun, we decided to ipunin lahat ng ipo namin and really invest dun sa lot. Then afterwards, we decided to build a resort so we have our own business as well. So this is our indoor dining and small kitchen as well. So you would see here the table. We're in, it's convertible as well. Uh, you could make it longer. And of course, we made sure that most, if not all, the furnitures are convertible. So what we do is uh, we try to provide as many amenities as we can so that people don't need to bring anything because that's part of you know the staycation experience, right? You don't want to have to bring a whole lot with you. You want to just be able to relax. So we provide a full instant coffee kit, you know, right here, you got your electric kettle. And we also have a coffee machine and we provide hazelnut coffee grounds. It's completely complimentary. You know, we get a lot of compliments. Of course, drinking water, big thing here in the Philippines, right? So we provide free drinking water, hot and cold there. And then everything you would need, you know, from rice cooker, 
glasses, coffee mugs, you microwave utensils. We really try to make it a complete package as much as possible. So here in this area, you would see yung message board namin. We wanted to make it uh, personal kasi so that our previous guests can leave photos, can leave messages. And here, you would see our bathroom and toilet as well. The same color, a little bit of brown and gray. And um, we put a little bit of greenery as well. So meron pa serene and peaceful feel while you're in the bathroom. So our initial plan actually was just one loft. But you know, as you get started, you know, you kind of just start to get ambitious. You get, start to get excited. You see things building up. So next thing you know, it becomes a full-size swimming pool. Next thing you know, you add an outdoor kitchen. So it kind of just ballooned from there. Welcome guys. Now we are here upstairs in the bedroom. And to talk about that, I'll let Chris do it because she came up with the design. Yeah, so basically the design of the loft bedroom is Kyoto as well. But we mixed it with a little bit of a Scandinavian. So we call it Japandi uh, design. So you would see here some wabi-sabi as well, which uh, shows irregular shapes. Mm -hmm. And of course, greens because we want you know the greenery for more peaceful you know stay in the bedroom <laughs> so the bed is king size bed as well and we have a lot of pillows yeah i mean in terms of the experience it's pretty much self-explanatory <laughs> what happens up here both kid friendly and not kid friendly just use your imagination yeah <laughs> so i've always been interested in small living spaces just because i like how creative people get in terms of maximizing the space and it also it's a more realistic investment right it's something that's achievable instead of dropping a big down payment on a big house with that down payment you could actually own a smaller space already and rent that out so i've always been interested in that hello welcome to our second loft higher loft uh, the design basically is colorful inspired by Harajuku Tokyo wherein it's very youthful, very happy and very fun as well. Yeah, I mean that pretty much sums it up. You know, just like with our other loft, a lot of the family time and the fun time happens here. As you can see in the TV, this is where they play PS4, they can watch Netflix, YouTube and just like the other place, this is a king size bed, this is where they sleep but this is where they gather around. You have a nice coffee table here from Ikea. So here we have our very colorful dining area. So just like the one in Kyoto, this is expandable. We have here our red refrigerator and our red water dispenser as well. So as you can see, we have a message board over here as well where our lovely guests can leave their pictures and leave their messages. I think one person even left their phone number. So if you ever stay here, you want to have some fun, text that phone number. <laughs> so what's unique about our bathroom and our doors here is it's actually a barn style door opening, right? So it's great for saving space. And our contractor, which is Chris's dad, also just loves these barn door style openings too. The design of the bathroom, we got a touch of red with the kitchen sink cabinet and the mirror cabinet. And you got a, lots of touch of colors there from the towels to the towel hooks with a white base that way the colors really pop out. So just like in Kyoto, there's a stairs leading up to the bedroom here in Harelo. So let's go up. So welcome to the bedroom here in the Hara loft. So as you can see, just like with the Kyoto loft, you have a king size bed, but the color's different. Because remember, this is Harajuku inspired. So we got white so that the color really pops on the beddings. And, you know, we do have a desk as well. And you'll get your touches of color there. We have this nice, like, cool, eclectic message on the wall. Think outside the box. We really try to bring as much kind of personality and vibe into this space. And that extends here in the bedroom. Our weekday rates, Monday to Thursday, tend to be lower just because most people can't get away from work during the week. So we start off at 5,000 per night for four packs, Monday through Thursday, although right now, I don't know when this video is coming out, we do have a promo 
for 4,000 only for four packs Monday to Thursday. And then of course, because demand goes up during the weekend, Friday, the rate goes up to 6,000 for four packs per night. So Saturday goes up to the highs at 7,000 per night because that's the highest demand. And then Sunday goes back down to 5,5 per night for four packs. Okay, so just like in our Kyoto loft, here we have the outdoor space for our Hara loft, the swimming pool, and of course, the bonfire area. So if you want to experience Hara or Kyoto loft and experience uh, staying here in the escapes, please feel free to message us in our Facebook page, Instagram, or Airbnb at EscapesPH. There you go. <laughs> Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this little tour we gave you of both the Hara and Kyoto Loft. You know, we'd really love it. If you guys want to come and visit, stay with us, experience it for yourself. It's good on video, even better on person. Thank you guys for watching, okay? See you Thank guys. Thank you. If you have an interesting or inspiring story that you want to share, email us at stories.onlygood at gmail.com. At para wala kayong mamiss na video ng OG channel, subscribe na and hit the notification bell to get updates on our latest episodes.